It's been nearly five years since we've seen Dolores Cannon and we wanted to catch up on the new messages coming through her thousands of hypnotherapy clients regarding the changes that are in motion for humanity, specifically our evolution as a species. What she's being told is that we have two distinctly different outcomes ahead, depending on how we choose to develop our own vibrations. Because I've gotten so much information, but I keep asking more and more questions. And they said, we can't answer all your questions because we don't know what's going to happen. This has never happened before in the history of a universe that an entire planet will shift into another dimension. So we don't know what's going to happen. And it's the greatest show on Earth that all the ETs, the other beings are out there watching to see, are we going to be able to pull it off? And let's talk about what it is, what we're headed for. Okay, but down through to, uh, Earth's history, we've had many, many civilizations that have come and gone. We have reached the peak of what they could do. And then it was usually because of man's greed and power, they had to be destroyed and they were brought down again. And every time, the civilizations had to begin over from the very primitive stage, the very bottom. And it took so much time to build it up again. This time, they said they don't want to take the time to do that. It's, it, we're losing too much. And the Earth is a living being. It is going to go into its next incarnation. It is evolving. It's going to go whether we go or not. It doesn't care if it takes the human race with it because we're like fleas on a dog. Right. <laughs> and it was just as soon we all disappeared. So that's why it's going to do its thing. But if we want to go with it, we're going to have to evolve also. But because it is moving, it is evolving and the frequencies and vibrations are changing as it moves into this other dimension. And there will be, this is where the variances come in. I get some, the answers are different, that there will be essentially two Earths. Yes. And one is the old Earth. And some people say, is that a physical earth or not? I don't know, but it's a division and a shifting of the energies as it goes into another dimension. But the old earth will still exist with all its negativity. This is where all the catastrophes will be, uh, the wars, all of the, those things, because they say those people will stay with what they have created. And they have created that type of world. And your in order for you to go with the earth, you have to change your vibrations and frequencies to shift also. But you can't change your vibrations and frequencies instantly. It right. would destroy the human body. So the ones that are heavy into negativity, they can't shift that fast. So by the time they catch up, they won't be able to. Their vibrations and frequencies are so low, they will stay with the old earth. But they said that doesn't matter. They'll get there eventually anyway. For Dolores' full story on the ET's view of our developing species, you can go to ConsciousMediaNetwork.com.